big part of running a successful brand is making sure that you understand the value that you can add to your potential customers, to the people who are going to be interested in your brand. So if you did your research right in the very beginning as you were getting your business started, one of the things that you probably thought about is, I have this product, I have this brand, and I want to get it in front of an audience. So I want to best understand my audience. And as you begin to understand your audience, it helps to shape the value that you can add to your audience members. And so one of the things that you need to think about at all times as you're working on your business as you're working to sell the product that you have to offer your customers is one, understanding your customers, who they are, where they are, what they want from you, what you can offer them. This really goes right back to a keyword that I talked about a little bit earlier, and that's value. You need to understand the value added that you can provide for people who may be interested in what you have to offer as a business person. And so whether you're a small business, a medium-sized business, or a large business, whether you're a brand that wants to be an advocate in a certain area, whether you are an activist, or whatever you are, what is the value added for people that you are trying to reach? And so part of this is the research that you need to do beforehand as you're getting started in your business, as you're getting started developing your brand, or in some cases, of course, it's both. Your business is your brand, your brand is your business. And so understanding and doing that research beforehand is going to give you a leg up on your competition if you can understand the value that you bring to your customers and then you can convince the customer that you have value to add to them. So the customer has a problem. You have a solution to that problem. So you have to convince your customer that they have an issue, that they have a problem, they have something that needs to be solved. Then you position yourself as a person who is the solution to those problems, to those issues, to those opportunities that are out there. And so that's part of the value added that you really need to think about and it starts from the very beginning as you're establishing your business as that business idea is tumbling around in your head and you start to put it on paper you start to put it on your computer you start to save it you start to mold and shape the clay into something that's going to be special and important for you but you must think about your product and the value that you can add to customers so that they know when they come to you you have a small opportunity sometimes to make a big sell. And so you have to be ready to position yourself as someone who can solve a problem that someone else has. You convince them that they have an issue and you convince them that you have the solution. That's part of the value that you're going to add to potential customers who are interested in what you have to sell.